Okay, hey YouTube. I uh, just want to do a quick review here of the Workmaster 75. We've had it about six months. We bought it in November. It's April now, so five or six months. And basically we've used it to feed hay during the winter. So we've not did much with it, but this is just an initial review of kind of my thoughts about it and the things that went wrong. And there's not been many. It's pretty, so far it's been pretty solid. So um, the one thing, the uh, I'll start with the bad things first. The uh, quick touch, uh, the first two hay spears we got did not fit properly. And I don't know if it's the quick touch or if it was the hay spears, but anyway, we had to grind on the second one and they finally made it work. So uh, I don't know why that is, but uh, the only other issue we had is the uh, rear cab window would not shut initially, but uh, they got that fixed right away. And um, I'll tell you some things here that I kind of like and don't like about it. Um, the, um, I'll just go through the different things here in the cab. The, um, as far as the transmission goes, the one through four shifter is synchronized, it's very smooth. The uh, one through three rain shifter is not synchronized, and basically you have to stop to shift um, into a different range. The hydraulic levers I thought would have a detent in them or stop so that when you pull it back it, it stays there until it reaches its father's point and then clicks off but it does not you just have to you pull it back and it just goes back to neutral so it doesn't have a automatic stop when you go back i wish it had that even our older tractors uh, like uh, we got a ford 6610 has that feature on it so uh, i don't know why that i think it's available that way but this one did not have it so uh, um the throttle very smooth um, the uh, shuttle shift forward and backward is very smooth butter no problems with that I usually clutch it when I use that but no problems with that the um, so far we've had no uh, issues with it as far as the uh, a lot of people say there's like issues with safety switches and so forth so far knock on wood not had any of those issues the joystick might be just a little bit far forward but it's not that bad um, the cab is maybe just a little bit louder than I thought it would be we've never had a cab tractor before so I don't know what others are like but this one just seems a little bit louder for instance when you turn the radio on you have to turn it up pretty loud to be able to hear the radio and with the engine running so uh, a little bit louder than what I thought it would be in the cab but but uh, like I said overall it seems like a solid tractor it starts every day through the cold weather and uh, fed the cattle with it and so I will try to do another review uh, maybe after hay season and tell you how it's looking then but uh, so far everything's looking good getting ready to spray the pasture fields with it now I haven't done that that yet so I uh, just got the sprayer hooked up to it so anyway signing off